Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation. I wanted to check in with all of you boys and girls. Yes, the hair had to go. It is starting to be 100 degrees in Las Vegas and more. And when I was shopping cars the other day, and I meant to record some of that, but it was all day, narrowing, narrowing down different cars. Still tired today, got too much heat that day. I was out all day. I was like, I got back, I'm like, oh. <clears throat> I didn't take the time to eat when I should have. In any case, I had promised to show the backyard since it's been a lot more outside shots than it has been inside shots. And you can kind of see here, like you can see how close that is. And then as you're going this way, you see that big hole? <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. You can see the carving into the mountain. That's me. <laughs> I've been carving things out because we want to extend the backyard. So that's the manual labor. That is what one of the best things in the world. Forget going to the gym. Yard work. I should have been a gardener, or I was many times, and some epic gardens in my multiple simultaneous lifetimes. But just what Gandhi was saying, to be outside, to touch the ground, to be outside of artificial structures like a house or apartment, mobile home, anything, you know, anything that you're surrounded, you need to like be within the whole of existence. <laughs> and you are at any moment in time, but in as organic a fashion as possible by being outside. Daddy needs some water. But I wanted to show you, it still be hot today, man. There's this little tent <coughs> that we put up and it's anchored down by rocks. And it's the only reason that it is still here. My mom's idea, you know, she was up, she grew partially up on a farm. So they know how to put stuff together. This should have been gone a long, long time ago. None of these last this long. It's been here for a while. And it's only because of all these little anchor points that you see here. And you got, we put cinder like on top of these bad boys just to, and this is like <laughs> 50, 100 pounds. And then it's in the ground. So this is what I've been doing. I've been taking the dirt and redistributing it to different places. So that's what I do in between videos and teaching for uh, WordPress and technology for SEO and contact management systems or to show you how to use your own WordPress site or make one for whatever purpose. Generally, it's the course, uh, the purpose of enterprise e-commerce. So WooCommerce, many other shopping carts, any of that stuff done. And it's been busy, yay. And a car is on its way from the hospitality and gratitude of others. Um, I think it's time for a car. And I found some other ones in my test driving that I should have recorded that process that would have been, if you'd like to see that, let me know. Um, which I went epically across all these different dealers and I'm walking around the yard so you can see it at the same time. It's standard Nevada backyard with a whole bunch of dirt still back in it. And, you know, gardening, other plants, bonsai little style one. But these, I help plant some tomatoes. Is like, eh, and they're that's as organic as they get. They're under the tarp so they don't get so... I, I give them rain water here and there, but they get nice clean water and a succulent and, uh, and a pepper that just grew. It was a seed and it's like, blah, and it started growing. It's like, well, damn, you deserve to live. <laughs> no soil and you want to be alive. All right, I'll help you out with that. Most of those are rescues in that fashion, like avocado plants, stuff like that. They just, avocado seeds just go without anything. And they're like, I want to grow. I'm like, you deserve it. <laughs> That's, uh, that's Darwin right there, that's strong stock. 
and when they had plenty of seed, that's how they used to do it back in the farming days. You know, they would, you know, nurture the ones that were strong and uh, let them thrive and grow so that each generation would be strong. So this is the backyard, such as it is. Strange little pieces of furniture that made their way from New York. Between going to art galleries and just weird places and working at one of the larger storage facilities, helping my mom. People leave tons of stuff, so there's all kinds of weird little things in this universe. <clears throat> Maybe I had them in another lifetime, I don't know. And this is like a nursery over here in the sun for seeing what might survive in this harsh environment because you just never know. Another deserty type plant, I have no idea what it's called. A neighbor gave it to us and well, it pretty much started to grow. <laughs> so that's what's going on today, boys and girls. Working, working and shopping, finding suitable for a car. Man, I'm parched. <clears throat> Be hot out here. I don't know what it is today. It's 90 something hundred. I don't know, but it, it's not right. <laughs> Human beings were not meant to live in these types of environments. That's why this one is just only now developing to the place it is. It's freaking hot out here. And you just, it's like the winter in New York. But the worst part of it, you stay inside. You don't want to deal with that stuff if you don't have to. It's evil. This is getting to the place where, whether it's hot, too, too hot or too cold, or dangerous to be outside because you'll die in the snow. Because it's zero degrees or minus 10, they're like, you're going to die if you go outside. <clears throat> I've been out in that stuff, and they're right. <laughs> One time I went out when it was minus zero, and like 20 minutes later, I barely made it out back out to the house. I'm like, it's taking every bit of my willpower at this point in space and time to will myself alive to get to the door to go inside where it's warm. I felt like an animal scurrying uh, that went outside too long, and it's like, I'm going to die. It's like, it was one of the weirdest, I think, that might have been another near-death experience as well. I think I had two. The one when I was sick, when I was considered terminal, and then uh, for for a while, for like eight years, and then I found a nutritionist that showed me a better way to eat that was compatible with like the genetics of my body. Uh, and, you know, a little bit of everything, and. Uh, Right now I found things that keep Glenn alive because it's still, even today after all these other things, my energy is all disrupted. It's like they ran so many tests and when I was a, like an infant, 18 months old, I had a retinoblastoma and I had tons of x-rays and the radiologists of old that worked during that era, if you ask them, they're like, oh, that's, and they didn't put anything on you and they just x-ray the baby, x-ray the baby is like, I'm even told I should be taller than I am in like the six foot range because these weird, you know, they, they measure something in your body and it says what it should be. It's the most accurate way. And I'm like, I should be 6'2 or something. And I'm like, 5'6". It's like, ow, x-ray the baby, x-ray the baby. So after that, and I like walking when I'm talking. This feels so much more natural. I'm exercising and getting shit done at the same time. I love that. I don't know what it is about that. I just, uh, I don't I want to have as much time as I want to do what I want to do. Um, if I can do two things at once proficiently, I'm all down for that. So, that is the backyard for today. And I don't know, I can feel this bouncing back and forth between third density and fifth density, where if I hold the thought that I'm an immortal being in a timeless reality, the I am, I exist. I can feel a different level of existence, a vibration, if you will, like you were turning on something that is just going to keep getting stronger, like when your phones used to go up and up in volume and vibration. When I go to 5D, even so, sometimes it's the briefest of times, I feel this unconditional love and I feel the oneness of all that is, including all of you watching right now, like a soul group within an oversoul 
that has an agreement to experience each other in this unique lifetime. Whichever one it is, I'm speaking of the one that is on the oversoul level of all lifetimes, beyond the soul level of the sixth density, feeling a more seventh density state, a remembrance between all of them. It's not quite clear, but it is definitely a unique experience to shift between realities, this thing called the shift at this point, named, named by beings all over the world. Sorry, my phone has a mind of its own. I gotta turn that feature off. So, I feel that I'm immortal on more levels. This is just, I don't know, when, I, when, this, when this frequency and remembrance and this vibration of unconditional love that had been forgotten is there, it's very overwhelming, but it's getting easier and easier to hold it for longer periods of time. Whatever you want to call this, I'd like to know how many of you there are. I've spoken with many of you having unique experiences along the same line that I've been having. Something, a shift, you know, just like a stronger... <clears throat> excuse me, awareness of all that you are, or at least a much larger portion. Ah, thank you very much for watching. Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation, coaching, coaching life, business, and I gotta turn that feature off. <clears throat> life, business, and spiritual. Sorry for take up there. Um, it stops anytime the phone gives you a notification. No, bad. So. That is the news from today, boys and girls. If you do like this video, please do like, subscribe, and share. This has got to look freaky. Um, is this like the Blair Witch Project type of motion? They're coming to get me! Um, so, the production company is almost done. Uh, announcement on that very shortly. Strategic deals with different people across the west coast once i have my car <laughs> so much fun is ready to be had that has been planned for almost 12 years different types of things just all those plans the car changes all of that if uh daddy's just getting a car and be able to go somewhere i could get so much i no idea how much i've gotten done relying on getting places here and there with other people in some way uh, over 13 years. <clears throat> a large majority of that, like maybe eight, nine of those thinking you're going to die because <laughs> I was so close to death for so long. It was like, uh... and my friends were surprised to see me when I would come and see them because I knew there was something wrong. I didn't really tell them because they didn't quite understand, but They uh, saw me taking tens and tens of pills, you know, beta blockers and ACE inhibitors and all these crazy things just to keep a stable metabolism. It was just freaking out. It was shutting down. And my red blood cells couldn't carry anything. Yeah, call it malnutrition. Maybe not knowing how to eat. I don't know. So I, I didn't, thought I didn't eat that bad, but it's how you eat. Like mono meals and these types of ideas that athletes are supposed to use as a governing body over digestion so that you get the most nutrition possible for the pH of your, at your stomach pH at the time. So you're not mixing them together to not be able to digest it in the most ideal environment by separating carbs and proteins and like sugary types of things like fruits. And combining those with an oil or a nut, like an avocado or flaxseed oil or olive oil and have your like apple with some cheese or some like a uh, olive oil or flaxseed oil something fatty makes it burn really slow and this diet is since i started it is a lifesaver i mean if i don't do that then it hurts <laughs> it's just like ow the last thing i'll report is the glutathione supplement to be able to make your own glutathione all the precursors made from an unnatured whey protein i love wandering I feel like an animal in the forest, I don't know. 
just, so just chilling out and walking around and talking. So to be able to, to do that, oh, just, I need some water. It's, yeah, I forgot how hot it is out here. Ew. Get dehydrated quick. I think the body's saying, go inside, finish that another day. So in closing, you know, and down below in the description, there's tons of things going on. There's a link now to the production company and to other things, other people that I thought are in the new energy. I'm going to be replacing all the descriptions quite soon with updated information, including contact information. So reach out if you want to have a chat and, uh, I send you much love, recognizing that I am a part of all that is. And then doing the Bashar exercises like uh, all that is and the one, what, this is the one for the channeling. He's, he's like, you want to channel? Here, focus. And this is, I was like, holy shit. And I listened to that for like eight months at, in one shot, every day, all day, every single moment I possibly could instead of anything else. And it's like, well, you know, like 40% of the day and uh, the rest, you know, is tending to business. You can't play that in the background. And woo, that was like the first little woo. So I will say it's time down to retreat inside. And I, I'm going to walk this way one last time just to kind of give you a gander at the backyard, such as it is. Yeah, and there's like a big, <laughs> big gap right there. That's I mean, I've picked up tons of rocks, just tons and tons of rocks. So it's like, that's basically it in a nutshell. I'm going to grab my mom was the intention and put her on a video. At least say, have her say something.